Hey everyone and welcome back for another deep dive. It's great to be back. Today we're going to be looking at a situation that I think a lot of people are going to relate to. Mm -hmm. It's about family dynamics and uh, specifically like financial support and choices that people make. Yeah. All this is centered around a college student and a tricky situation with their father. And we're going to be taking all of our information today from a single source. Okay. It's a Reddit post from the subreddit r slash am I the asshole. Oh, very good one. I know, right? Uh. The title of it is AITA for announcing that my dad's not paying my college tuition. Ooh, that's a loaded title. So let's uh, let's set the scene here. Okay. It's the 4th of July, a classic family gathering. All right. Our original poster, the OP, is there with her family, including their dad and their aunt and uncle. Classic 4th of July barbecue scenario. Exactly. Now, the OP's aunt and uncle have been generously covering their own child's college tuition. And during a conversation about, like, you know, how much this is all costing them, the uncle innocently asks the OP's dad how much college is costing him. Oh. So, you know, like kind of comparing notes or something. Yeah, just casual conversation. <laughs> yeah, so pretty harmless on the surface. Right. But this is where things take a turn because the OP <laughs> immediately jumps in and says, what are you asking him for? Oh. I'm the one paying for it. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. So you can imagine. Big reveal. Dad is not happy about this declaration. <laughs> no, no. He is fuming. Right. And later on, he pulls the OP aside. Right. And just accuses them of embarrassing him in front of the family. So that's kind of the the inciting incident. Yeah, but the thing is, the the OP's decision to pay their own way wasn't just like a spur of the moment, hmm. you know, like sticking it to their dad kind of thing. Okay. It was like a deliberate choice based on their entire experience with their dad going all the way back to high school. So there's a little bit more history here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the OP explains that their dad did actually have a college fund set aside for them. All right. But it came with a whole bunch of conditions. Oh, so it wasn't free money. There were strings attached. Yeah. You could say that. Okay. We're talking maintaining a B average. Yeah. Getting pre-approval for every single class they wanted to take. Wow. Weekly grade meetings with dad. That's a lot. Yeah. Like the whole nine yards. Yeah. And and it gets even more intense than that. Uh, okay. The, the OP kind of paints this picture of their dad as having a pretty volatile temper. Like oh. high school was just constant pressure anxiety about their grades being yelled at, grounded for things that weren't even their fault. Oh, wow. Random backpack and locker searches. Like, but, So it wasn't just about the academics. It was about controlling their whole life, it sounds like. Yeah. So you can see why, like, when faced with the prospect of having to continue that dynamic in college, even with the financial help, the OP chose a different path. Yeah. They said, okay, I'd rather take out student loans. You know, knowing it'll be a financial burden. Mm -hmm. But they saw it as the price of freedom. Oh, yeah. I mean, freedom's priceless. Right. So this is what makes this deep dive so interesting. Like, yeah. what would you choose? Right. Is it worth it to have that financial burden in exchange for peace of mind? Exactly. And that's one of the things that we're going to get into. Okay. But first, let's look at how the court of public opinion, you know, weighed in on all this. All right. Because after this family blowout, the OP goes on Reddit. Yeah. You know, to ask that age old question, am I the asshole? Of course, as you do. Right. And uh, the responses were pretty telling. Okay. It was like a landslide of support for the OP. Yeah. I mean, that's not surprising. Like, people really got where they were coming from with this whole thing. Yeah. I can imagine a lot of people feeling that way. Right. Like, lots of commenters were even parents themselves. Okay. And they shared stories about their own kids, you know, like proudly going the independent route for college. Interesting. And there was this real sense of like, hey, good for you, you know, like yeah. setting boundaries, mm -hmm. taking ownership of your future, even if it means, you know, maybe a tougher financial road ahead. It makes sense. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it makes you think about all the expectations. Right? Yeah. Especially when it comes to family and money and this idea that, you know, good parents are supposed to pay for college no matter what. Right. Like it's almost like a societal obligation. Right. And maybe the dad felt trapped by that or something, yeah. you know? Yeah, like he had to save face. Exactly. Uh, and a lot of the commenters brought up another interesting point. What's that? Like, what if the dad had been paying right? Okay. With all those strings attached? Yeah. He would have probably tried to take credit for all the OP's success, you know? Oh, totally. Like, even though he wasn't really contributing. Yeah, it's like trying to have your cake and eat it, too. Totally. And that brings us to something that I think is really important to discuss. Okay. So a lot of commenters were like, you know, based on how the OP described their dad's 
behavior, right. you know, the temper and everything. Right. Like they wondered if there was maybe something more going on. Oh, you mean like was it just strict parenting or was it something more serious? Exactly. Like some people even brought up the possibility of emotional abuse. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely something to consider. And I know we can't diagnose anyone based on just a Reddit post or anything. But, of course not. But, you know, the, the, the controlling behavior, the temper, the accusations, you know. It's definitely something to be mindful of. Yeah, and it really Wait. makes you think about what was at stake for the OP in this whole situation. Yeah. Like, choosing student loans wasn't just about money. It was about something much bigger. Yeah, like their well-being. Exactly. Like, it was about reclaiming a sense of control over their own life, you know? Yeah, like setting boundaries and establishing independence. Mm -hmm. And even though student loan debt is no joke. Definitely not. There are also potential long-term benefits to that kind of choice. You know, that's true. Like, what do you think? Well, I mean, think about it like the confidence that comes with knowing you can stand on your own two feet mm -hmm. financially and emotionally. Yeah. That can have a huge impact on other parts of your life, too. Right. Like your relationships, your career choices. Like... Exactly. It's like they're investing in their future freedom, not just their education. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. So we've talked a lot about the OP and their dad. Yeah. But let's not forget about the uncle. Oh, right. The one who asked the question in the first place. Yeah. It seems like such a small detail. All right. But it really set this whole thing in motion. Totally. It makes you think about all the stuff that goes on beneath the surface in families. Right. Like maybe there's some sibling rivalry going on there. Or... Yeah. Or maybe the uncle's question just accidentally exposed some kind of like unspoken pressure in the family. Yeah. Like this expectation that parents should be paying for college. Exactly. And families are complicated, right? Oh, absolutely. There are all these histories and unspoken rules and dynamics and you know sometimes it just takes one little thing to kind of upset the balance right like one little question and boom now before we wrap up this whole college cost saga we do need to acknowledge yeah that not everyone on reddit was on the op's side oh yeah that's true there are a few dissenting voices in the mix like what were they saying well some people thought that the op's response to their uncle was a little bit too blunt oh like maybe a bit disrespectful to their dad yeah something like that but those comments were definitely in the minority, right? Yeah, they were. But it's still important to you know consider all sides of the story. Absolutely, because there are always multiple perspectives. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to kind of get caught up in the majority opinion. Right. But those dissenting voices, mm -hmm. you know, they can help us see the nuances and, and remember that there's rarely just one right answer. It's all about empathy and understanding, right? Yeah, trying to see things from different angles and remembering that there's always more to the story than we might realize at first. Exactly. And sometimes the most valuable thing we can take away from these online discussions mm. isn't about finding the right answer, right. but about expanding our own understanding of how complex human relationships can be. Yeah, and how people navigate difficult situations in all kinds of different ways. So as we wrap up this duck dive, let's bring it back to our listener. Okay. Because this whole story is really about a big decision, right? Yeah. Do you take financial aid with all those strings attached? Or do you shoulder the loans for more freedom? That's the million-dollar question. And there's no easy answer. Definitely not. It really comes down to your own values and what you prioritize in your life. And that's what makes these deep dogs so interesting, right? We're not just learning stuff. Yeah. We're using it to think about our own lives. And maybe even make some tough decisions. Exactly. So... As we leave this college cost conundrum behind, okay. here's a final thought for everyone listening. Right. Imagine you're the OP years down the line. Okay. Maybe they're killing it in their career, or maybe they're still, you know, struggling to make ends meet, but they're living life on their own terms. Mm -hmm. Looking back, how do you think they'll feel about the choices they made? That's a good question. Will they regret taking on the debt, or will they be grateful for the freedom it bought them? Mm -hmm. It's a question that only time can answer, but it's worth thinking about. Definitely. And by talking about these tough questions mm. and weighing the pros and cons of each path, yeah. we can all hopefully make more informed decisions for ourselves. And create a future where we feel both financially secure and personally fulfilled. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. It's like we've all been given all these puzzle pieces, and now it's up to us to, you know, put them together in a way that makes sense for our own lives. Exactly. And there's no one right way to do it, you know. Right. What might feel like a huge sacrifice to one person mm -hmm. could be, like, totally empowering for someone else. Yeah, and that's what makes these conversations so interesting. 
right? Totally. It's not just about like learning facts and figures. Right. It's about applying those to our own lives. And figuring out what works for you. Yeah. And like in this case, you know, it really makes you think about the trade-offs we're willing to make mm. for freedom, you yeah. know, for autonomy, for the chance to just like make our own choices. And those choices... You know, they might look different for everyone. Right. Like depending on our circumstances, our personality, our support system, all that stuff. Exactly. Like student loan debt is a huge burden, mm -hmm. but so is living under constant pressure and control. Yeah. It's all about finding that balance, right? Yeah. That sweet spot where you can go after your goals mm -hmm. without feeling like you're being held back or, you know, right. having to compromise who you are. Totally. So... As we wrap up this whole, you know, college cost conversation, oh, okay. I want to leave everyone with one final thought to kind of chew on. All right. Okay. Imagine you're the OP years down the line. Okay. Maybe they're, you know, totally thriving in their career or maybe they're still struggling, but either way, they're living life on their terms. Mm -hmm. Looking back, how do you think they'll feel about the choice they made? Oh, that's a good one. Will they regret taking on the debt? Yeah. Will they be, like, so thankful for the freedom it gave them? Hmm. It's hard to say. Right. Like, it's impossible to know for sure. Yeah. But by talking about these tough questions, you yeah. know, and thinking through all the different angles, yeah. we can all hopefully make choices that lead us to a future hmm. where we feel good about, you know, both our finances and our sense of self. Absolutely. Well said. Yeah. I think that's a great place to leave it. Yeah. So until next time. Keep exploring, keep asking those tough questions. And keep diving deep. We'll see you all next time.